Hey guys, it's me again, and I just went. We, I went out today, and uh, we stopped at Walmart, and I saw this new deck card. I haven't really seen it anywhere, so that's why I'm kind of excited. It's the Bicycle Everyday Zombies deck, and it looks pretty cool. That's the back of it. It says, "We've all felt like a zombie at some point," so it gives you kind of sneak peek at the back of or the fronts of some of the cards. So then on the side it says, same old finish, and then it says, made in the USA, and then on the other side it says, illustrations by Rob Sacchetto, Sacchetto, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Rob Sacchetto, I'll show you more when I take off the, the wrapping and stuff, let me just get this off, okay. Uh, gotta get this done sort of quick because I gotta watch Breaking Bad. If you have any Breaking Bad Breaking Bad fans, then write it in the comments below. But yeah, so that's the front again. That's the side. Same old finish made in the USA. That and then uh yeah, and in the bottom, copyright information, nothing interesting. And then at the top, hold on, let me take off the sticker. Ugh, come on. But yeah, so here it comes. Some of that sticky stuff. Oh, okay. So the top says same old finish. Like same old finish. And then playing cards. So it doesn't really tell you if it's like special faces or backs or anything. But yeah, so I'm going to open it right now. Let me just put my camera down there. Ooh. Whoa. These are really cool okay so let's start off with the advertisements and the jokers okay so the jokers are two well let me show you the back first the back is and this is clearly a one-way back because of the fact that they're all, the heads are facing one way so if you flipped it upside down and put it in the deck you would be able to tell but you can see all the different faces and everything, which is pretty cool, very detailed. Then on the front, it's a creepy, really creepy clown. And I don't like that because I hate clowns, so. Yeah, and then the other Joker, this one's kind of like smiling, sort of. And the other one, oops. The other one is kind of like frowning and like all covered in blood and everything because it's like zombie clowns. Yeah. So that's the two Jokers. Um, then we got the, you know, the... YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook card bicycle thing. Then we have a card that has some writing on it. It says, Rob Sacchetto has illustrated and hand painted thousands of custom zombie portraits as part of zombieportraits.com. So you guys can check that out. He continues to add new zombie art every day and wait, every day to the hundreds of images already posted under the Zombie Daily banner there. He has been commissioned to create portraits for countless celebrities and has previously published two illustrated books on the subject of zombie. Bicycle is proud to share uh, his one-of-a-kind creations with you on this Bicycle card deck. So, yeah. So there you go. You can see that. So yeah, and now let's get into the cards. Hold on, let me just here. Okay, already out of the box. Uh, they feel a little stiffer than most cards. But hold on, let me see if I can do something with the lighting.
Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. So, yeah. But uh, right out of the box, they seem kind of stiff. Uh, yeah. But they're really, really smooth. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize, but the fan looks beautiful. Oops. Oh, almost dropped them. Huh. But the fan is just beautiful. I love the fans. Yeah. But, so it spreads, let me see, nicely. And I, like I said, it's really smooth. It feels a little bit smoother than usual. Uh, it's smooth. Oof, look at that. That is really cool. I love yellow cards, so that's why I was excited about that. You can see it looks like... Yeah, so let's, I guess, get started. You already saw that. Yeah, let me just... Mm. Okay. Let's start with the actual cards now. So, I obviously can't go through every single one. But I'll go with... So, um... They're pretty much all just zombies. There's some really creepy ones, though, but yeah. So I obviously can't go through all of them. Let's go with the Ace of Spades. Doesn't really look that different from all of them. It's just another zombie, but yeah. So then we got the Spades. And stuff. Then the same thing with the... The only thing that looks that much different is the king because it's like it looks like it's the biggest one it's like but other than that it's mostly just I'm trying to get it in the light but yeah but other than that everything is just oh my god yeah this one is really weird I can't if you can see that zombie on. taking like a shower that is really disgusting yeah, this is definitely, I've never seen anything like this before. I can tell you that. Some, yeah, this is pretty, this is not something that I would use for magic. Because just, it's just disturbing. But it is a good thing to add to my collection. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. And you got some things, like an old, like, an old guy. Kind of a cooking barbecue. What else? A, a teenage zombie texting. On um, what is that? Oh, oh my God! A worker sawing his head in half. See, this is very gruesome. Definitely something you wouldn't use for a magician. You wouldn't use on a normal basis. And for this is definitely just for mostly for collectors because. But yeah. But yeah, so like I said, let's see. Yeah, you can see. You can tell it's a one way back when. Because some of the stuff is backwards. Let me just fix this. Okay. So let's go to handling now. Let's see if it. how it pharaohs. It actually pharaohs really nice. Oh, let me do it again. Yeah, pretty good. Not as good as the last ones I reviewed, but let's see, giant fan. Ugh, I'm horrible at that. But you guys get the idea. I'm pretty sure someone that's good at the giant fan could probably do it better. But you've already seen like like here's the one handed fan. And yeah, so now let's shuffle it. Let's see if I can. Yeah. So, but this is a really good deck. It's very gruesome, but it's really smooth, kind of stiff, and I, I would, I would recommend this for. I probably wouldn't recommend it for magicians, just because of the fact that it's not something that you could use, you know. But I would recommend this for collectors, just to add to your collection to have something really different. And, yeah, just 
definitely not something I would use in like a poker game or something. So, yeah. But like I said, it's a pretty good deck. It looks really cool. It's definitely I have never def definitely never seen anything like it. And yeah, so. But that's the review. So I hope you guys like it. Subscribe, comment, like all those all the stuff you know. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. My next video is gonna be a tutorial. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I realize I haven't been doing much tutorials. So my next video is gonna be a tutorial, and I will get that done. And the handing on these are really good. Just wanted to say. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So yeah, so my next video will be a tutorial instead of review. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but yeah. I'll probably do some, an, a simple trick, but okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Remember, like and subscribe.